hello everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm here with a very simple topic that's uterine adenomyosis and that too the sonographic findings uh, so uh, very first thing that you should know is actually the pathophysiology of adenomyosis so we all know that adenomyosis what happens here that the endometrial glands are actually in a ectopic position what ectopic position the myometrium okay so if we break the terms adeno means ectopic endometrial glands and stroma and because of this what we saw we are what we see on ultrasound are the echogenic striations nodules the myometrial cyst and the cystic striations and because of this adeno thing that is ectopic endometrial glands within the myometrium these incite a local reaction because of that the muscles undergo hyperplasia or hypertrophy so because of this ectopic glands what we see are the muscular hypertrophy or hyperplasia and because of this hyperplasia hypertrophy we have some ultrasound findings like thickened inner myometrium the myometrial thickening that can be focal or diffuse the enlarged globular uterus and the pencil thin venation blind shadowing also when we see this on color doppler we can see that the vascularity is actually increased we can see tortuous penetrating vessels traversing through the adenomyosis lesion and together all these findings what we call this as the myometrial heterogeneity or the cirrhosis of uterus so once we know this basic pathophysiology uh the next thing we have to uh, do the reporting of adenomyosis okay in the uh, first and most important investigation is actually the transvaginal ultrasound so uh, let's assume we have diagnosed the patient is suffering with adenomyosis and we are not dealing with some of the differentials or the close mimicker of adenomyosis like the fibroid any anomaly or any malignancy okay these are the differentials we are sure that we are dealing with adenomyosis we will see this in further in this video how we diagnose adenomyosis now for the time being let's just consider that we are we are sure that we are dealing with adenomyosis the next thing in report what we have to give is actually the location whether it is in the anterior wall the posterior wall the left lateral right lateral or the fundus you have to give the location of the adenomyosis then you have to differentiate whether this adenomyosis is actually focal diffuse or mixed type both focal and diffuse okay uh when this focal adenomyosis is actually is very well distinctly visualized a uh, very with a very well defined boundary then we call it a focal adenomyoma the next thing you have to uh, tell whether this adenomyosis is cystic or non cystic next you have to tell about the uterine layer involvement whether this is the inner myometrium or the junctional zone the middle myometrium or the outer myometrium or the subserosal layer also you have to tell about the extent of adenomyosis that what percentage of uterine body is actually involved like in mild less than 25% of the uterine body is involved moderate 25 to 50% of the uterine body is involved and in severe more than 50% of the uterine body is involved also you have to give about the size of the lesion okay the size of the lesion if it is a focal lesion you have to give the largest diameter of the focal lesion and if it is a diffuse lesion then you have to give the maximum myometrial thickness okay so these are the things that you have to report in your uh, ultrasound report adenomyosis is there yes it is there what location uh, whether it is focal diffuse or mixed type cystic non cystic which layer of uterus what's the extent and the size of the adenomyosis lesion okay uh, so as i have already told that adenomyosis diagnosis is made okay then what we see in adenomyosis see uh, these 8 9 findings are actually the diagnostic of adenomyosis first thing because of muscular hypertrophy or hyperplasia we have seen uterine enlargement would be there and it would be in a globular shape so the uterus would be enlarged globular in shape there would be this asymmetrical thickening of the myometrium the posterior myometrium like more thickened than the anterior myometrium there would be this asymmetry the myometrial cyst then the hyperechoic islands what are these islands these are islands are actually the endometrial 
ectopic glands then these fan shaped shadowing are actually the venetian blind shadowing the ecogenic subendometrial lines and birds these are also the ectopic endometrial glands then next the translation vascularity as i've already told the penetrating vessels would be seen the tortuous increased vascularity there would be this irregularity of the junctional zone and also at some places this junctional zone would be interrupted so by seeing these eight nine uh, findings we are sure that we are dealing with something that is adenomyosis for example here also what we can see are these uh, sub endometrial ecogenic lines ecogenic lines and also there is a cystic lesion with a ecogenic rim this is the myometrial cyst then next these are the ecogenic birds sub endometrial ecogenic birds and these are the hyperechoic islands with some of these islands having hypoechoic halo also and this is the sub endometrial bird with a sub endometrial line so by seeing all these we are sure that we are dealing with adenomyosis uh, then the next thing uh, you have to tell whether it is a focal or diffuse so when the more than 25 percent of the boundary of this uh, adenomyosis is uh, surrounded by the myometrium we call it focal and when the less than 25 percent of the margin is surrounded by myometrium then we call it diffuse and what is adenomyoma as i have already told when the focal adenomyosis is very well distinctly visualized with a well-defined boundary we call it focal adenomyoma okay the next thing uh, uh, also we have to say whether these are non-cystic or cystic like these are the hyperechoic islands and when these islands develop uh, an anechoic region within them we call it cyst and these cysts are having also the ecogenic rim these area can be anechoic or can have low level ecogenicity as well and then as i have already told you have to tell about the location of the lesion whether it is involving the junctional zone only then type 1 then the middle myometrium type 2 and the outer myometrium type 3 how to differentiate that like this this is the uterine cavity this is the endometrium this is the inner myometrium or the junctional zone this is the middle one this is the outer or the subserosal layer and this blue one is actually the serosa how to differentiate this middle and the outer myometrium by the color doppler uh, there would be a vascular arcade vascular arcade in between the outer and the middle myometrium so uh, it's not like that the adenomyosis lesion would be involving just one zone it can involve multiple layers like if it involves junction zone it is type 1 if it involves junctional zone as well as the middle myometrium then we give it type 1 plus 2 and like so on okay so uh, so this is the thing uh, now uh, so let's just review this again so uh, we know when we are dealing with adenomyosis by seeing those eight nine features then the location then focal diffuse or mixed type by seeing the percentage circumference surrounded by the myometrium then the layer involvement type one two three then the extent uh, mild moderate severe and the size if it is focal largest diameter if it is diffuse the maximum myometrial thickness okay we, uh, now we know the ultrasound reporting format for adenomyosis uh, let's just see uh, one or two examples uh, like in the first case what we can see that these are the ecogenic lines the sub endothelial ecogenic lines the sub endothelial ecogenic nodules and also at some places the endomyometrial junction is very indistinct then this myometrial cyst and the indistinct endomyometrial junction then this subendometrial ecogenic birds these are the ecogenic lines the hyperechoic islands with halo and uh, these are the venetian blind shadowing the endomyometrial junction is very indistinct so uh, what we realize the few basic terms that are used in adenomyosis involve the uh, diffuse bulky heterogeneous myometrium uh, with a very indistinct endomyometrial junctional zone okay and uh, also uh, like here also the endomyometrial junction zone is very indistinct the myometrium is very heterogeneous and bulky and what we see on color doppler the vascularity is increased tortuous penetrating vessels are seen going through the lesion but in this case we can see a heterogeneous uh, something a well circumscribed lesion 
and uh, when we do the color doppler we can see the circumferential or the peripheral vascularity this is typical of leomyoma or the fibroid fibroids are having peripheral vascularity while adenomyosis are having penetrating vessels through them okay uh, so that's it for today i hope i have made this topic easy for you if you have any doubts you can ask me in the comment section